morning, I take the time to welcome Sir Rasdeep Gwala, Chairman of the Assam Tea Corporation, who is also an alumni of the school. Sir Napota Barman, who is a social worker, also ex-chairman of the Integrated Tribal Development Project. I request Sir to please come and take his place on the stage. Let's put our hands together to welcome them. At this time, I also request Sir Gobind Singh, Chairman of the School Management Committee, to come forward and take his place on the dais. Let's put our hands together. The two very special people for which we are here this morning. First of all, I want to request K. Suprita Burman to come forward and take his hard place on the dais. At this time, I would like to request, in absentia of Priyanka Yumna, I request Sar Indra Babu, who is the father of Priyanka Yumna, retired district agricultural officer. Sir, please come and take your place on the dais. And at this moment, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you. And it, it's a matter of great joy and delight for us this morning because this is the day, you know, we as teachers, we are, you know, we are so happy because two of our students, not just one, but two this year, has cleared the APSC examination. It's a matter of great pride and all honor and praise be to Emmanuel. Before we begin this program, I request Ms. Manitombi Singh to come forward and read a portion from the Holy Bible, after which she will say the opening prayer. Almighty God, loving and living Heavenly Father, Lord, we bow our heads at your feet at this moment as we Acknowledge who you are in our lives, Lord. You are our loving Father, our protector, our provider, our sustainer, our all in all, Lord. The very breath we are taking this morning is from you, O Lord. The very life that we are living is from you, O Lord. We thank you so much for all the good things that you have done for us, O Lord. We thank you so much for enabling us to come together here in this manner to celebrate your goodness, your, your faithfulness, your greatness in the life of our dear students, Lord. We thank you. We give all the glories and honor to you. Lord, nothing could happen to us without your help, O oh Lord, for it says in your words, all the good things come from you. All the good gifts from gifts come from you, O Lord. We thank you for everything that you have done for us, O Lord. As we have this program, we ask for your blessings upon each and every one of us here, Lord, that none of us will go out without your blessing, Lord. I commit this entire program into your almighty care. In Christ's most blessed name, we ask and pray. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you, Ms. Manitombi, for seeking that divine invocation for today's program. At this moment, I request the school choir to stand up and sing the opening song. Oh, 
who has spared her valuable time to be here this morning, Suprita's mother, Mama. Ekto daramna Suprita ma, so ga ekto hat kali je. Apna je boshu, apna dear saathi amrao khub khushi. अपनी वो छुट्टों बेला तक ही ताके मानते मुद्दे की वावे स्कूले अंचन अमार तो मने आज से आपने भूले किए चल की ना जाने ना ठीक है सर अभी हमारे स्कूले टोल तक के अपना जो शोभाए के हमारे आनंदों प्रकाश पड़े धनों बात जाना है अपनी आज से चल दें माय सिंसियर बेस्ट विशेष तू बोथ ऑफ देम मे इमानुएल all the best in their future career. I also want to encourage all my dear students who are present here in this gathering for you to be inspired from the achievements of Suprita and Priyanka. May God bless all the parents who are here today and our sincere prayers that God will turn every desire of your heart into delight as he has done in the lives of Suprita and Priyanka. May God bless all of you, those who are present here today. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. It's now time for us to hear what Sir Rasdeep has to say, and it's a very special honor for us that Sir can be here. And after which, I will call in Sir Naboda Borman. I want to give them this time for them to share their hearts out here this morning. Good morning, all of you. Uh, I'm really happy and delighted to be back uh, to the school. As you all know that uh, I'm an ex-alumni of this uh, school. Uh, today we have uh, Ma'am uh, Onide, who is the principal of the school, chairman of the managing committee, uh, Navada Barmanji, uh, all the respected teachers, students, all the respected guests, dignitaries uh, who are present here today. Uh, we are very happy uh, to know that uh, two students, ex-students of this school uh, have cleared the Assam Public Service uh, Commission examinations with flying colors and we are very happy to know that. We are very proud. It, uh, it makes us proud to uh, know that students of this school have uh, made uh, them their name in the state and everyone knows about them and there are very few of them who have cleared these examinations from Barak Valley and two of them are from our locality, our school. So that is, uh, we are extremely delighted to know that. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, all the teachers, ma'am, uh, principal ma'am, all the teachers, parents for guiding all the students in such a manner that you have been doing so well. I would pray to the. I want to pray to God that may God give all the teachers more strength so that you guide all the students in future also uh, how you have been doing till now. Uh, I wish a very bright future for all the students. And I was just asking, ma'am, uh, what is the present strength of the school now? I got to know that almost uh, I think more than 1,600 students are studying in this school. Okay. Uh, okay. 1200 students are studying right now and uh, I still go back to the day when the school actually started with I think 8 students ma'am? Four, four. 4 students and this journey journey has been long a, a, a struggle especially for ma'am Munare she has struggled really hard uh, for this school and all the teachers in fact it was a team effort and today we are here and it is a uh, journey which is a successful one I can say and uh, today we have a uh, result we can see the results here today in front of our eyes and not only that uh, we know that many other students who have excelled in various other fields who have passed out from this school and the school has provided a very good uh, foundation to all the students uh, and Emmanuel English School has made a name for itself not only in this locality but I would say in Barak Valley and in our state as well uh, with the kind of uh, good quality education that you have been imparting to the students of this locality and uh, 
you have turned many dreams into reality uh, many many students from this rural areas have uh, got good quality education from this school and have done really well in their lives so i think that is what it says i don't have to say more we all know about it and whenever uh, as an alumni of this school i uh, i get to know that students have been doing well in their respective fields who have passed out from this school it gives us immense uh, pleasure and i would like to thank all of you for enlightening the students of this locality of this area and not only from pailapur but students from many other villages across lakhipur subdivision and in fact from even neighboring states also i think they come here uh, to study in this school so i wish all the best to all of you and uh, may god give uh, each and every one associated with this school more strength uh, to guide all of us in the future as well with this a few words i would like to conclude my speech thank you and thank you thank you for having me here i would like to thank specially sir shankar madam murari for inviting me here uh, i feel great to be back here whenever you call me i am always there for you any time whenever if it's possible within my uh, capacity i'll always uh, try to attend all the programs in this school in future as well thank you thank you sir for those kind words of encouragement it means a lot to us at this moment i call sir naboda verman to come forward and share a few words of encouragement and we also want to know what it is he has in his mind so sir naboda please good morning ami to english e bolte parbo na ami bangla e bolbo shobai to kichu kichu to bujhte parbe उच्चामेशन से पास कर खूब निजे ऐले मेरा कष्ट माँ बाबा खूब आनंद एर साथ निस्थ हिसाब से आनंद खराब होता शिक्षक गुरुजन पास के जी स्कूले और रिजल्ट शुने स्कूल के दुईटा स्टूडेंट एक साथ एक बस एस एस एक क्रैक कर फास कर गर्वित एकम्र बोलते मैडम जरा जा रा शिक्षक यहाँ निस्त और जरा जा रा ग्रामे क्यों गर्वित कारण कईलापुर आगे जानतम ना हमारे सर मे मैं सोशल मीडिया देखल देखार पर बस इंटरेस्ट मिसी ना कारण मैं चीनी ना देखो मन पुरुषी दादारे हटात 
বর করে তো আমার মনের বা আমার মতো গ্রামের সবাই এমন ভাবে আনন্দ এই আনন্দ কারা আমার একজন মেয়ে বা আমার একজন ছেলে এই এলাকা যাতে এইভাবে দেখে আমার স্টুডেন্ট যাতে গর্বিত হইব পরেও তারা চেষ্টা করব না ও করতে পারে আমরা কেন করতে পারব এটাই হলো মেন মোটিভ আজকে যে স্কুলে আমরা এখনো সহমতি হয়েছি ওরাকে আনে আমরা দেখালাম কারণ এর সাথে সাথে আমার স্টুডেন্ট গেলাম তারা নিশ্চয়ই মনে করব বা ওর কাছে প্রেরণা নেওয়ার চেষ্টা করব এটাই আজকের যে অনুষ্ঠান আর বড় বড় ডক্টর ইঞ্জিনিয়ার হওয়ার পরে কত কি করে নিজের নিজের সুবিধা বা নিজের নিজের সব কিছু হয় কিন্তু একজন টিচার যদি টিচার ভালো রকম হে এসিএস হোক হয় না আইপিএস হয় না কিন্তু একটা টিচার ওই ছেলেকে কিভাবে পড়তে হবে কিভাবে রিজাল্ট করতে হবে এই স্কুল থেকে এই শিক্ষক থেকে সেটা আইএস অফিসার হয় ইসিএস অফিসার হয় বড় বড় মানে সাইন্টিস্ট হয় কই থেকে একটা স্কুল থেকে এই স্কুল আমাদের ইমানুয়েল স্কুল এখান থেকে আরও কি জানি এসিএস হয়েছে আইপিএস হয়েছে না मानुष बनानी এখন দেখেন আমি বিশেষ আর বলবো না দুঃখ থাকো মানুষের মধ্যে বেজান দুঃখ থাকে ছেলেরা বহুত কিছু মানে মনে করে যে না আমি তো দুইবার দুইবার এস এস দিলে আইএস মানে মানে বিয়েও ইউপিএসও দিল কেউ কেউ শুনে দুইবার তিনবার করার পরে হয় তাইলে মনে করে তারা একবারেই হয়েছে না ফার্স্ট টাইম না সেকেন্ড টাইম সেকেন্ড টাইম স্বাভাবিক কথা এইটা তো উচ্চ একটা শিক্ষার মধ্যে রুমে হয় কিন্তু বাকিটা কিছু একটা কিচ্ছু আমি বলতে চাই সবাই জানেন আব্দুল কালাম আমার প্রাইম মিনিস্টার প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ ইন্ডিয়া ও এন ডি এ সিলেকশন হওয়ার পরে একজন দেওয়ালকে দেরাদুন বলে গেছিল দেরাদুন গেছিল মানে ফাইলট ওয়াল লেগে ওইখানে গিয়া তার বইদের রিং বন্ধক দিয়া তাহলে এক টাইমের লোকে ভাড়া পায় সেকেন্ড আইবার লোক ভাড়া নাই হ্যাঁ গেল গিয়া এক্সাম দিল সে ভাবছে যে টু হান্ড্রেড পার্সেন্ট আমি এক্সামে পাস করবো তাইলে আমার ফাইলট হয়ে যাবো চাকরি হয়ে যাবো তো পয়সার দরকার নেই শেষ করে তো হইল না ফাঁসে হইতে পারবো এ সুইসাইড করার লাগিয়া লক্ষ্মণ ঝুলা শিবানন্দ আশ্রমের একটা পাহাড়ে গিয়া সুইসাইড করার লাগিয়ে চেষ্টা করছিল তখন শিবানন্দজি দেখিয়া দেখলো যে এই ছেলেটা কি হইল এইভাবে ঘুরতেছে বা জাপ মারার চেষ্টা করছে তারা দাঁড়লো এটা কি হয়েছে তোমার বলে না আমি তো আইলাম আমি তো কোনো খাজের না আমার বইনের ঋণ বিক্রি করিয়া আপনি এলো যাইবার লোক আমার গাড়ি ভাড়া নাই খেলে তো আমি কোনো খাজের না মারা দিন তখন হে বলল না ঠিক আছে বেটা তুমি আজকে ভাত খাও সকালে আমি তোমার গাড়ি ভাড়া দিতেছি এরপরে এরপরে আব্দুল কালামজি জিজ্ঞেস করলো তুমি তো একটা ভগবান আপনি তো একটা ভগবানের স্বরূপ তা আমার সিলেকশন হইল না কেন আমি অত কনফিডেন্স থাকা বলে হইল না কেন এ কইল না কীটার লিগে হয়েছিল জানো নি এই খাজের লিগে তোমার ভগবানে জন্মাইছে না তোমার আরও বড় খাজের লিগে জন্ম হয়েছে এটার লিগে প্রায় সাইন্টিস্ট হইয়া প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ ইন্ডিয়া হইয়া আজকে সুনাম করছে মামুলি এ দিয়ে পরীক্ষা না পাস করি তো এইরকম বহু সংসারে হয় কাজে কর্মে বহুত হয় কিন্তু ছেলেরা পড়ার থেকে মানে বেশি করিয়া পড়বা ভালো রকম পড়বা ভালো ভালো মানে এক্সাম দিয়া বড় বড় অফিসার হইয়া যাতে আমাদের গর্বিত হয় গ্রামের এরিয়ায় গর্বিত হয় যেরকম আমরা আজকে গর্বিত হয়েছি এই করিয়া আমরা অত্যন্ত কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই স্যারের কাছে 
प्रकाश करते At this moment, I request Sir uh, Shankar if you can come and take your place on the dais. I was just filling in the gaps here because you are taking the photo. So please give a big round of applause for Sir. <laughs> Now it's time for us to felicitate Miss Priyanka Yumna, and in her absentia, I request. Sir Indra Babu to take the honor, and to do the honor, I request Ma'am Urire Singh and Sir Rasdeep Guala together. They will felicitate Sir Indra Babu, who is taking the honor in absence of Priyanka Yumna. Two thousand and eleven, and she passed out in first division with seventy-three point two percent. She then went on to finish her BSc in Biotechnology Honours from G C College in the year 2014, and she passed out the examination with 81.75 percent. She then went on to finish her post graduation, that is, Masters in Science in Biotechnology from Assam University, Silchar, in the year 2016, and she passed out the exam with 81.85 percent, first class. and also she was a gold medalist in the year 2016 the reason i am reading out this for you is for all the students to be inspired by her life and her achievement and if you can see there is a gradual increase in the graph okay the graph goes up it doesn't come down okay so the reason for us okay to say this in front of all of you young minds okay is to inspire you and take the encouragement from their achievement for you also to achieve those height of success she qualified in the combined competitive examination 2020 which is conducted by apsc khanapara guwahati and she was selected for assam civil service in 92nd rank by number so and so so also suprita we are very pleased and honored actually to have you here today I don't. I understand she travelled yesterday from Guwahati. She has finished her uh, formalities to join the service, and she has been uh, given the post of Inspector of Taxes. And our prayer are always with them, both of them, and also for all of you students. In the days to come, we will see many more, you know, scientists like Sir Naboda had said. Okay, and even the future president of the country may be here in this room. We never know. there has been not a single president from the north east india and i wish and i pray and i hope that the future president of our country is also in this room okay and the first acs was sir rasdeep gwala's sister deepmala gwala she also passed out from the school so in the future like sir said and all the words of encouragement that we received there will be more judges magistrates teachers professors aeronautical engineers civil engineers okay and many many more okay to come and we wait for those days we are so delighted those are the days you know when we hear good news and good report it brings a lot of joy to us as teachers good morning to the honorable uh, honorable presenters sitting in the dais principal ma'am uh, respected teachers and all the guardians and my dear students a very good morning to all uh, firstly uh, i'd like to thank everybody for uh, arranging such an event for us uh, although although ma'am had a very hectic schedule but she managed Uh, time for this event. Thank you very much, and uh, uh, and all the respected personalities also they gave their time. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to start with a line, with a famous line to say by uh, Sir A. P. J. Abdul Kalam that uh, to create a nation with beautiful minds 
uh, the most important role are played by three personalities the father the mother and the teachers so i strongly believe whatever i could do whatever i could uh, achieve in my life is because of the good parenting i got and the education that i received at emmanuel english school so i completely give the credit to my parents and my teachers because of them i could do whatever i did and uh, short uh, introduction is uh, about me i have completed uh, my uh, matriculation that is up to 10th i studied here and after that i i uh, undergone my uh, high secondary at uh, navodaya navodaya vidyalaya then i got selected for uh, engineering uh, i studied my uh, bachelor in engin electrical engineering from jorhat engineering college then i uh, pursued my mtech in uh, power system engineering from assam engineering college after that uh, after completing my masters actually i started preparing for the exam i was working as a lecturer and uh, when i was at guwahati that is that was the time when i started preparing about this exam uh, so it was uh, the journey was a bit long but it, i would say that it was it was not easy but it was worth it because that gave me opportunity to stand here and i feel so honored to be here today uh, i remember taking many assembly uh, attending many uh, morning assemblies here so i am really honored and delighted to be standing on the other side of the assembly hall today uh, which i could not even dream so uh, this is like this is like my biggest achievement i would say to be standing here and uh, talking to my teachers and my dear students so uh, if i talk uh, about my uh, uh, about my journey in the preparation so i prepared around i started around 2018 that is after completing my uh, masters degree in engineering then uh, my strategy was mainly uh, to uh, purchase the materials the best materials possible so uh, nowadays we have the we are fortunate to have internet okay so uh, all the students most of you are uh, aware with mobile phones you know how to use it right so using that only i searched the best materials i could find and i purchased them and i made sure that for every subject i purchased one book only uh, written by only one writer like a very limited books so that uh, so because we have a problem we have a tendency of assembling too many books and we get confused what to read from where so i made sure that after searching uh, from the internet i made sure for every part i selected one writer and i studied them and i revised it over and over again how much i could then uh, by the end when i completed my syllabus i i have taken some online test which uh, helped me to improve far better so in the strategy i would say all the qualities that i used was actually taught in the school itself like to revise again and again like our teacher teaches us and discipline discipline that is what we learn at home and at school so i give credit to my teachers school teachers especially uh, so because uh, motivation may not take you to places but discipline will take you to the places you want to go because uh, motivation is actually basically emotions which may change over the years but discipline is what you want to do that is your determination which will help you to continue the goal because uh, the, all this exam it takes a bit time like it was my second attempt this was my second attempt last time i cleared the mains but i could not be selected to the final uh, the pi round so this time it was my second attempt <coughs> uh i would say that the journey was uh, a little bit tough but due to my parents support and as i have already said the qualities that i have learned at emmanuel english high secondary school that is the discipline responsibility empathy all these things have helped me to face all the obstacles that i faced while preparing for the exam uh last week again i would like to thank uh, uh, all the respected ma'am teachers and the guardians and students to be present here and uh, i would like to also say to the high secondary students and also the 10th student if you need to ask me anything let's uh, no need to be formal you can just ask me if you want to ask me anything we can also make it like interaction section if you want anything to ask me you are free to ask i'm here to answer you so it's uh, you are free to ask if you want okay then thank you very much once again thank you Thank you so much, Subida. I hope that you have registered what she said. Few of the things to repeat for your benefit. Repeating 
Okay, revision over and over. Yes, students, students, revision over and over, over and over again. What was the second thing she said? Yes? Discipline. Very good. One more takeaway point from what she said. She has, she has become a great teacher. Okay, she has become a great teacher and she is actually teaching you right now through her speech. One more thing she said. Takeaway point. How good were you as a listener? Yes, yes. Empathy, yes. Empathy means putting yourself in the other person's shoes. Okay? That's very different from sympathy. One more thing. Yes. Determination. Okay, very good. Determination. Okay? We'll come to that. I welcome Sir Ratan and Sister Indira who joined us lately. Let's big, uh, give a big round of applause for them who okay, came all the way from the country to be a part of the celebration. Like Suprita said, it's now time for you. Okay, we are giving maybe 10 to 15 minutes just to interact. Okay, and we'll make the best use of this time. I'm sure that some of you have got some questions that you want to put to her, and Suprita will answer it. Okay, Suprita. Yes, so there will be a mic which will be handed over to the students and you can put your answer forward to her. And I will give this mic to Suprita who will answer the question. Good morning ma'am, I am Akita from class 12. Okay. I would like to know that there are some certain times when we all feel demotivated. So what kept you motivated or feels? Yeah, as I have mentioned, uh, actually, we search in internet, like all the civil aspirants, we search in internet how to get, how to stay motivated during the uh, during the preparation period because it's quite long, right? And the syllabus is very vast. In my case, discipline worked, as I have told you, okay? Because motivation in my case didn't work much. It, sometimes we are very low. We think, we doubt ourselves. Can I do it? Can we do it? So in that thing, two things helped me. My parents, they were always like, you go on, you can do it, you can do it. And second thing, discipline plus you think yourself that I can do it. I can do it anyhow. Okay, it, might, it, it will be tough. Okay, to achieve something, the path is never easy. It will be tough. But always keep reminding yourself that I can do it. If all are doing it, I can do it. Right? So that is how I can do it. Uh, very good morning to everyone. This is Daisy Sharma from class 12. 
I would like to ask you that how did you make yourself focused to achieve your goal? Focus. My main focus was like, uh, uh, maybe see now, uh, first of all, definitely as a daughter, the pride that I see now in my parents' face, in my teacher's face, that was one of the motivation also, that, that I want to make, make uh, them proud, okay? And actually I was, uh, I completed my engineering as uh, you all know, na? I completed my engineering, but when I was at Gwati, uh, uh, I was working as a lecturer, I was like exposed to more things which we are not exposed here. So when you go out, you people will also face it. So about this job, when I started preparing, I felt like now only I, I feel like now only I have become as like a true citizen of India. When you prepare, the syllabus is like that. When you prepare, so like when I started, I was not that much like uh, strong about this thing. Nah? But when I prepare with the syllabus, you will read, you will read, you feel like the importance of this uh, job, the importance of the post, that how you can, uh, uh, how you can help the society, the weaker section of the society. And as we are taught in the school itself, I have, as I mentioned, in the school we are being taught of sympathy, empathy, everything, all these things that I am carrying throughout my life. So whatever we are learning now, listen to your teachers, that I listen to my teachers, and it will, like when I was focusing, that time also it helped me to focus, okay. So, these are all magical qualities that we learn at school. Okay, not colleges, at school we learn this and at home. So, to be focused, keep on all these uh, qualities that our teacher teaches us. I've done nothing else, just followed what my school teachers have taught me when I was studying at Emmanuel Lee School. Thank you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, myself, Hakim Jamal from class 11 Science Stream. On this special occasion, I would like to ask you a few questions. So ma'am, uh, what made you inspire uh, to uh, focus on your goals, like to achieve the civil service? Civil services, uh, you, uh, what made you inspire ma'am? Okay, actually I, I, I had my background in electrical engineering, okay? So if I would have worked as an uh, engineer, electrical engineer, I could work only in one field, right? Only in one respective department or one substation or any subdivision. But this job has given me a bigger domain to interact with people, to give my ideas, to include my ideas somewhere, okay? So mainly this, uh, this thought came in my mind, okay? That is the miss bigger domain to interact with the bigger section of people to the societies. Thank you. Thank you uh, so much, ma'am. And I will be very grateful if you will uh, uh, would you suggest us some civil career option to be chosen after our 12th board and uh, how to be focused and stay, uh, means uh, to focus on your goals and stay away from unwanted things and, uh, and, and negativity? Okay, first of all the career that you are talking, right? So career then actually see, everybody have their own strength and weaknesses, okay? Now I don't know what is your strength, what is your weaknesses, right? So you may not be good in something else, you may good be in something else, okay? So accordingly you can choose your path. Nowadays not, there is no boundaries, okay? It's not that only civil services or engineering or doctor, there are many paths. First you should know is what is your strength. Okay, but in which section your strength, your strength comes more, okay. So accordingly you have to choose your career. So we cannot exactly say, okay. So first you find your strength and in whichever uh, career have your strength, you pursue that. Okay, it's not necessary that you have to go to technical. In arts also we have a lot of uh, opportunities right now, right now. There is no such thing like medical or engineering is the only good path. So I would say that whatever you are good at, photography, whatever, you just pursue it and do good in it. Because if you don't like, if you don't love what you are doing, you will never be a, a successful person in that field. Okay, first you should love what you are doing. Okay, thank and, you. Uh, how to take means focus on your goals? Yeah. In my case, then actually I am completely as men also, as, as, actually I am completely out of the social network. I am completely, uh, uh, completely like uh, blocked all my social network like Facebook, whatever, because I think that these all are not necessary. Okay, so obviously social networking is too much like uh, in present youth, na? All of you are doing right. 
So we we can we don't we have tendency to be addicted to that thing. So I completely uh, uh, made myself out of it, and I, I def and I, I didn't have any problem doing that. So I'm not going to come back also now. Uh, that's it. I'm not going to do it because I think it's not necessary. And second thing, you think of your parents. Okay, you think of your mother. You think of your father. You will never be out of your path. Okay, but because what they have done for you, nobody will do for you. They are second to God for you. Okay, and keep trust in God because whatever I'm here, it's because of God's blessing. God's blessing, parents' blessing, okay, my teacher's blessing. These things you keep in mind will never be out of your path.
that will help you. Okay, and always think about the goal. Forget about the path. Think about your whatever you are going to achieve after the path. That will give you strength to continue. And keep praying to God because God's blessing is must. Without that, we cannot do anything. And parents, God, and definitely your mental strength. Mental strength is very required. For me, I would say 60% of the done work is done by my mental strength, and 40% is just my hard work. Okay, so mental strength is very important. For and for such exam, you have to have mental strength because the process is a bit long. You will feel low. That I think I won't be able to do it. Talk to your parents, talk to your teachers, and believe in God. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Dashima from Boston, and I, and I would like to, like to ask you that how many hours did you study in a day, and how did you manage your time in studies? Okay, uh, my time management was like uh, I um, for me the schedule like morning to uh, evening. I, I used to be at uh, my uh, working place now. So what I used to do morning, uh, for example, two to three hours in the morning. I would wake up until the RBI and two to three hours in the morning and again after returning, taking rest again, three to four hours in the night, okay, night or something after taking some rest. Sometimes when I have holidays, I would study in the afternoon also, there is no fixed time in my case. Just I make sure that six to seven hours every day I should be with my books. So that's how in the, in the study hours, right? it's not that you should study ten hours or fifteen hours, you study five hours, six hours or four hours, it should be productive. Okay, it should be productive. There is no such thing sit to the table 10 hours, no use if it's not productive. So for me, I would say like 6 hours every day, I give my time. Okay, and it may be afternoon sometimes, sometimes midnight, sometimes early morning, I have no such uh, exact time. Okay, but 6 hours somehow I used to manage in every day. Na? Questions were really good. That means uh, more, many more uh, civil servants are going to come out from here. Many scientists, many engineers, many doctors are going to come back. Again, you have to felicitate them also. Thank you. Thank you, Suprita. Big round of applause for all of you. And to Suprita for answering those questions in the most relevant way. So, there is no magic formula as such for success. To sum it up, consistency in what you are doing and very important takeaway point that I have been wanting and wishing to hear from your end, that is to keep away from social media, okay? That is very important if you want to achieve anything in life, cut short or you know, if you can do away with it, that's the best. Okay, if you hear the success stories, every one of them have stayed away from social media. Talk about PV Sindhu. The first thing that her coach asked her to give away was her mobile phone. She was not allowed mobile phone for those number of days that she was under training, okay, under him. And at first, she was not very happy with that, okay. But at the end, because of that, you see that she also got the Olympic medal. Okay, so my dear students, no magic formula, remember, hard work, perseverance, consistency in what you are doing, those are very, very important. Thank you so much for, you know, answering all those questions and I'm sure that you will remember this afternoon. It's a very well spent afternoon, okay, and she has given you a lot of information and how to keep yourself abreast with upcoming, you know, events and affairs that goes on. Okay, nobody can store everything here in a single day. Everything, every drop, every minute that you do to accumulate information and to bring it out in the right time when you need it. That's very important. So we hope and wish, like Suprita said, there will be more ACS and IAS from this room and we look forward to felicitating you as well. And now it's time for us to give time to Sai Indra Babu to share his heart out. And in the absence of Priyanka, I wish Sir would share some words of encouragement over to Sir Indra Babu, sir. Thank you. 
I on behalf of my daughter Priyanka Yumna standing here to talk something to you. Respected chairperson, respected our ex MLA and chairman of Assam Tea Corporation. Respected our Navada Paramanji, Chairman of ITDP. Respected our Governor, Sir, Chairperson of School Managing Committee, and also my daughter, K. Sukrita Bharman. She is also my daughter. His father is my friend, bosom friend. I know her father, he is Subhas Burman from a long time, say about 30 to 40 years, when they were in Lucky Nagar. Respected all the teachers of the school, my dear students, respected parents of our good students of this school, respected by friend Raj Bihari and others also. Dekho bhai, hum to lecture ke liye nahi aata. Thora thora baat to bol sakta hoon. Aapko satisfy karne ke liye आपका दिल खुशी करा चुनो आने को फाल लेक्चर दी दे पारी ना तो वो मोनेर को था नहीं किस बोल बो ये प्रियम का जो नाम एवं ये सुप्रिता बार बार ए स्कूल थे के पास कॉलेज से डेह पास हाई स्कूल रेडी सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम दिस स्कूल आई एम प्राउड ऑफ दिस स्कूल और दे डेट Basic education from this school. At that time, they are the seed, being an agriculture person, agriculturist. I am comparing with the seeds, bees, maru, how maru, how maru se patter gati, how papa hunati. Bees jodi bhalo na hoy, bhalo variety jodi na hoy, that was all gurudin. भालो होए ना इस जब ऐसे एजुकेशन हमारे ईमानवर स्कूल जैसे हमारे तादेव सातों दर तार मुझे शुभ्रिता बारमन या वो प्रियंका बारमनो शिरो हमला सवाए और भी तो जब हमारे लोकी वर साप्ती भी सुन जाके हमारे शुष्कतान दुई पुत्री गोलोपाम भी तो पड़ी थी C C E Combined Competitive Examination 2020 एंड आई अप्लाई करी थी 2020 आज हलो 2022 दो बार सोल्डर लगे गया लो तो मासिये एक उस तरीके ए एस सी एस for a car, successful candidate, sorry, a combined competitive examination is a successful candidate. That is not the broadcast for you to know, high high court or that is, you know, say pastor someone at the last hour of this 21st, I opt to result of the ADAC. I am very happy, I am very happy, I am very happy. शारा दिन शारा शारा ना तो क्यों खाएं ना खुशी थी एम नहीं दिए पड़ेगा हाँ ताई एक स्कूल आरोपी स्नान कर बे हम लोग थे हम लोग वो किए जावो एक स्कूल तीन तीन ताई से तो बिशा प्रोडक्शन करें हमारे टीम माला अगर एक्स में भी सही भी बोल ऐसे बोलते हैं कि आरो ऐसे 
ఏం పేరు పెరుగుతుంది ఎస్సీఎస్ ఐఏఎస్ పేరు ఐపీఎస్ పేరు అప్పుడు ఆశ కోడి কিন্তু আমাদের ছাত্ররা আমাদের ছেলেমেয়েরা আমাদের নাতি নাতিরা আপনারা কিছু লক্ষ্য রাখবেন কি করবেন ভবিষ্যতে জীবনে মা বাবার পয়সা দিয়ে সারা জীবন খাবে না আরো নিজের জন্য নিজের ভবিষ্যতের জন্য নিজের দেশের জন্য কিছু করে যাবে যাতে কি আপনারা চিন্তা করুন এই স্কুল শিক্ষা দিয়েছে আমাদের ছেলে মেয়েদেরকে ডিসিপ্লিন হয়তো আগের সময় থেকেই দেখিয়ে দিয়েছে যে এখন তিনটা যে এস সি এস অফিসার আমরা পেয়েছি সেই স্কুলের অবদান সেই জন্য এই স্কুলের যত শিক্ষক ম্যানেজিং কমিটি সহ সবাইকে আমি কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই ধন্যবাদ জানাই আপনারাও আগেও যান আমরা আছি পিছনে আপনার ছাত্রদের প্যারেন্টস যারা আছে আমরা সবাই এই স্কুলের পিছনে থাকবো এই স্কুলের উন্নতির জন্য আমি কিন্তু লেকচার শুরু করে দিলে সারি না তিন ঘন্টা বাবদ আমি পড়তে পারি কিন্তু ভালো লেকচার তো আমি করি না বা এখানে আমি শেষ করছি আই থ্যাঙ্ক অল অফ ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ